Hey, this is Jay with Sacred Gaming bringing you a guide on how to infuse your legendary weapons. You can actually upgrade your legendary weapons and your legendary armor. This works both the same way. So I'm going to show you how it works, what's going to happen to your weapons and everything like that. So this is my character. I have a machine gun that's ranked 280 and I've got a rocket launcher that's ranked 240. It does 240 damage and I want to pump that up, infuse it with another weapon and get that stat to increase. So the way that you do that is look for other weapons weapons that you have that have a higher attack value or if you're looking at armor a higher armor value and you can infuse those weapons you dismantle those other ones and they get added to this one so what you want to do is press Y go into details then go over here on the left hand side and here you're gonna see it consume a more powerful weapon to boost the attack value of this weapon and you can see what it takes to actually go ahead and do this besides the actual weapon that we're gonna dismantle so those are the things that it's gonna take now these are the choices these are all the weapons that I have currently equipped um, actually not currently equipped they're in my inventory and they're gonna tell me which ones I can use to actually upgrade my attack value now if you read along with me it says you may infuse this gear by imbuing it with another gears power dismantling the other gear in the process the dismantled gear must be unlocked not currently equipped that's why my machine gun isn't showing up end of the same year in the same gear slot a similar quality and a higher level than the current gear so basically anything that you have in your inventory in this slot that's from year two you're going to be able to do that with so looking through this i got some 254s if i were to do that i wouldn't get much of a bonus but i do have a 278 and a 273 now i could do it with the 278 and I would end up getting 278 minus 240 is 38. 38 times 0.8 is just over 30. I'd end up getting a weapon that was 270. But instead of doing that, I'm actually going to do it with this 273 first. And if I do that, 273 minus 240 is 33. 33 times 0.8 is a little over 26. So I'd get 26 plus 240, which is 266. All right. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it again with that 278. So 278 minus 266, there's 12 points of difference. I get 80% of those 12 points. So 80 times uh, or 0.8 times 12 is somewhere in between 9 and 10. Depending on how you round that, I'm either going to get 10 points or 9 points. So I'm going to hold X to dismantle and I get 10 points. So I go up to 276. Now, I don't know if... Uh, using three more legendary marks is worth it to bring this thing from the 270 to the 276 because if I would have just used the three initially and with the higher one I would have gotten 270 but since I did it with two ones uh, I ended up getting 276 so that's a call that you're gonna have to make and hopefully that's making sense but just remember this you take your higher stat minus your lower stat times that by 0 0.8 and then add that to the lower stat and that's what you're gonna get when you infuse this whether or not you do it once or or twice that's just a call on your side that you're just gonna have to make but hopefully this helps you out as you can see though with my rocket launcher it is still upgraded so you do not have to re upgrade it or re rank it up I should say not upgrade re rank it up and you can use uh, rare ones to upgrade your legendary ones you do not have to use another legendary one to upgrade a legendary one so hopefully this helps you out now I know we kind of changed a lot of things with destiny this is kind of cool though because if you get a legendary piece of armor or legendary weapon that you really like and later on down the road it's underpowered you can always infuse it and take it up so that's kind of a nice feature I like Bungie moving to do that it's kind of a little bit weird but it's a nice feature because you're always going to be able to keep with you that uh, piece of armor that has the really good stats and the really good intellect or discipline that you like and just keep on upgrading it. But if you got any questions or comments, make sure you leave them for me. I also have another video out that I just released that shows you how to rank up your light level faster. So if you're struggling to rank up that light level and get better gear, make sure you watch that video because I show you exactly what you need to get the best outcome. So like I said, hopefully this helps you out though. If it does, hey, I'd really appreciate it if you thumb this up. If it doesn't help you out or if you think it's garbage, thumb it down and let me know that in the comments. But guys, as always, take care and God bless.